All right, guys, welcome here to Wilder Henson Adventure. Um, today we're going to talk about one of the other trails that we did at the Hot Springs Off-Road Park. I'm sure you've seen some of our other ones. We did a review on Rubicon Ridge and Snake um, and the whole park itself. Um, this one we're talking about Bilstein Ravine. And you're going to put video up? Yes, I'm going to get video up. So, Bilstein Ravine yeah. is a very short trail um, linked off like Waterfall Pass or something like that in the B section of Hot Springs Off-Road Park. The whole trail is no more than a quarter mile long, yeah. maybe Pretty three short. quarter mile long, or a half mile long. The approach coming into it is so simple. The what? The yeah. approach coming into it is so simple. No. No. Yeah. But, <laughs> no. Hang on. I just want to give an FYI, or apology, whatever, about the video because it rained and yeah. water got on the camera, so it is a little fishable. Sorry. Yes, it is but, that. But we'll we'll have the video of it. I'll have the full length video of the trail. Again, it's a very short trail, but let me tell you, it is it is a fun trail. There's a lot of off camber. Um, there was some scraping. Um, oh yeah. We bought we brought both gladiators down it. Um, the 392 did not go down it though. Nope. Um, nope. It would have done phenomenally though had she had done it. But we bought brought both gladiators and they did great. We had a little two door JK as well. Yeah. He did great. And Uriah's no name, JK, or XJ, XJ, XJ. sorry. Um, but let me tell you, it is, it's a fun trail. So you you get it, and it doesn't even really look like it's a trail when you first get to it, because you're going down Waterfall Pass, and you look to the left, and there's like a ravine. And it's pretty ominous, it's black. Yeah, yeah it, it's it, is. Black, it, was, it was relatively black dark with, the, with everything over it. It's got the shale on it, and I made that turn, because I knew exactly what it was. So we got in there the only one. and <laughs> you get up to the very first part of it and I went over a, a hump and then I'm like, maybe this is the wrong trail. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. And I started to back and as soon as I backed up, I hit the bumper and I'm like, nope, we're going. So I get into it, I get going and it, it just a lot of off camber angles. So once I got about a third of the way through it, Casey hopped out and started taking pictures, which we're going to show here in a minute. She got some phenomenal pictures of oh, Patrick and Uriah going through it and Scott going through it. And man, you're just, you're talking about Patrick's axle, front axles, like, like I'm just going to hang out over here yeah. now and, yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> but, sure, sir. Yeah, I've showed like my dad. It looks like you didn't and, have a track bar hooked up. It, yeah. it, it didn't it look, look like, like anything was hooked up. <laughs> But see, that was the good thing about me not being in my Jeep because I could then get out and take these amazing yes. photos. Yeah. And since it had just rained, all the dust was off everything, so it made the pictures look even more epic. Everything was yeah. vibrant. But it was. Yeah, coming out of that turn just before that last little climb, right there at the end. Yeah. My axle looks like it's headed for the side of the trail, and the rest <laughs> of me is Don't headed the up way. the trail. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, no, I'm good. I've but had enough. But yeah, even even just that part of the trail, the most complicated part of the trail is 100 yards, 150 yards at the best. Yeah, you got and, maybe but six car lines. So much off camber angle. It would it was a really fun trail. That was one that I was looking forward to going down again. Um, but once you get those off camber, you drop down a little riverbed. It pops back up. You go about another 100 yards, and then there is a. 50, 60 yard climb at 18 to 20 degrees, and then I think you're back out at either road two or. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was two. I think it was right at road we two. We were back up around by the car line again somewhere. We were up That by, was through Samurai. Oh, yeah. Man. We come I out. I looked back around. We come out by two because that's when we went and did the little mud hole under the trees. Yeah. 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 So, so really good pictures of those. Yeah. That we'll get, yeah. Yeah. There's some. No, because you were, you were back in the Jeep when we did the hill. No, I mean after, after the mud did. hole. Oh, Foot. yeah, after the mud hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So even once we did that, so once we got back onto, we came around, we caught Samurai Pass again and went back down the hill. There's actually, I think it's C or B25 is what it is. What it, is. it catches around, no, B26. Um, B26 is relatively fat, flat. It's just a, a, a pass-through trail more or less. But right in the middle of it, there is a dip with a climb. And it's probably a three-foot climb. Oh, yeah. If I was to put a protractor on it, you're probably looking at an easy 
60, 65 degrees. So you can still get up it, and it's only three foot, so as long as you've got the clearance, you can get up over it. But it was just, it was a fun little hop up. I mean, yeah, he, uh, Scott was I running see. his, was a two and a half inch lift. And I yep. think he got air. And he got he it. Did, he went he, he hit it kind of hard. Don't. I think he underestimated it just a tad, or he was underestimating his jeep getting over it, so he thought he, he was going to have to bounce. Well, it was more the jeep. <laughs> it was also the fact that it was his first time really off roading, and he was in a manual transmission. Yeah, he had that. He had that <laughs> disadvantage too. Yeah, he went everywhere we went. Oh, he did. Yeah, he, and he, did, did. he did. He did a great job. He really and he did. Never complained one no. time. Until he'd seen his hitch. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's, he's like, well, dang it. But oh well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. So, but yeah, other than that, Bill Steen Ravine was, it was a phenomenal trail to go down. Yes, that was, even with as short as it was. I think that was all, honestly my, after like looking at all the pictures and stuff, even though it was super short, that was probably my favorite trail of the day. I, I was almost ready to go your, back and do your it again. Infamous end of cam photo because I don't think there was a one of us without a smile on our face at the end of that trip. Yeah, yeah. that one was fun. That the only fun. bad thing that come out of it was my rim <laughs> that I scuffed up. Oh, you, you scuffed the rim? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Luckily, it was, yeah. it was one that I'd already scuffed. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, he, he hit that shell and it just slid sideways just enough to catch the rim. I was like, oh, that was a rim. Yeah. Yeah, I caught... I caught my bumper, which I caught it more than once the whole weekend. Um, I caught my bumper to the point, and, and, it, and it's a ravine. It really is. It's like a four-foot ravine, just big enough to fit even these white trucks through them. Yeah. I almost, when I first hit my bumper, I thought for sure I was fixing to get me some new taillights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure I was fixing to get me some of those new taillights, but no, no luck there. Right. So... I haven't found a set of tail lights yet that anyone makes that I like. We did find yeah, well. some trails that had pieces of tail light on it. Oh, yeah, we, we found <laughs> tail lights all over. So, we, uh, we found a license plate. <laughs> we, we returned it though. Uh, we found them right below. Right yeah, they happen to be staying in the cabin just below us. Right yeah. below us. Yeah. yeah. So, but all in all, that was Bilstein Ravine. Um, I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Any thoughts on Bilstein? Do the trail. Do it. I like being a rider on that one. So. We, we've got to we got to take Beast on it. If if we go back, we've got to get Beast on Bill Steen. So the thing about the thing about Beast and what really helped me throughout the entire um, off road park, um, I've noticed that having all wheel drive all the time, I don't have to put it in four low. I don't have I, it's always in four high. So uh, these guys that, you know, they have to engage their four wheel drive, they have to, I just roll it. It's pretty cool. So um, yeah, she's a lot more capable than I am. And you know, we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, we gotta work on the driver. She's capable enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's all that. A lot of fun, it was amazing. I went as a, not a co-pilot, just uh, as a ride to ride along for the weekend. And so glad I got the opportunity. So, but yeah, that's Bill Steen Ravine. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Um, I will have the full length trail. Again, it's no more than I think three to five minutes long. And the longest part of it is when I had to stop to let Casey out to take pictures. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching you guys. Y'all have a good day. Bye.